Now let's have a look at this case study of the hinge bracket assembly. Now these kind of hinges which are having two brackets with a pin assembled into them. These are very common in our household applications like doors, shutters, etc. So let's understand if we had to design these kind of a part for mass manufacturing and if we had to set up a GDNT tolerancing scheme for the function, how would we go about doing it? So that's the exercise in this case study. Mm. So there are three main parts over here. One is the hinge bracket one, another one is the hinge bracket two and these two are assembled with a pin at the center as shown over here. So both of these are sheet metal parts which are having a bent portion over here, over here and over here which forms the hole through which the pin will be inserted. So we will be dealing with this part, the hinge bracket 1 and we will be deriving the tolerancing scheme for that. So this is the hinge bracket 1. These are the important functional features. This one is the resting face. So the back side of this face will be rested on the panel and it will be bolted or fastened through the three holes, three fastening holes. So this is the resting face. These three are the fastening holes. And for this tolerancing scheme, we will set the center as the locating hole. So the center hole will be slightly smaller as compared to the other two holes. And then there will be this pin hole. So this hole goes through over here, here and here. So this is the pin hole through which the pin will be inserted. Now let's have a look at the GDNT tolerancing scheme for this hinge bracket. So these are the three views, front view, left view and top view of the bracket. And these are the isometric views on the left. So first let's have a look at the primary datum feature. So the primary datum feature is applied to the resting face which is very obvious over here because the resting face is the large surface area on which the whole bracket will be rested onto the panel and it will be bolted. So this resting face, this resting face is datum feature A and a flatness control of 0 0.07 has been applied on it. Then let's move to this hole over here. So this hole, this center hole is datum B. Now there are three fastening holes on the bracket but we'll make one hole smaller than the other two holes so that we can locate the part better. So during assembly when as we are assembling this bracket we will insert the fastener through the center hole first and then we will insert the fasteners through the other two holes. That will locate the bracket better because this is a smaller hole as compared to the other two holes. So this hole has a dimension of 10.2 the basic size is 10.2 plus or minus 0.1 and this has to be controlled within a perpendicularity tolerance zone of 0.1. So it is to be controlled with respect to perpendicularity with respect to datum A which is the resting phase within a tolerance zone of 0.1 at maximum material condition. So this is datum B. This feature of size hole, center hole is datum B. Then we will control the other two holes with respect to datum A and B through this positional control. So the position of the two holes 2x 10.5 plus or minus 0.1 should be within a tolerance zone of 0.2 a cylindrical tolerance zone of 0.2 at maximum material condition with respect to datum A which is the resting phase datum feature A and datum B which is the feature of size hole center hole the locating hole at maximum material boundary. So these two holes then will become datum C. The basic dimensions for the position of these two holes with respect to this hole are given over here. So 38, 38 and 12. So this hole is located at a basic dimension of 12 from this hole. So these are basic dimensions 1, 2 and 3. And these are other dimensions which locate the hole with respect to the other features that is the wall of the bracket. So 22 plus or minus 0.5 is for this hole, 10 plus or minus 0.5 for this hole from this edge and 12 plus or minus 0.5 for this hole from this edge. So these are other dimensions, non-GDNT dimensions. So the datum scheme has been set. The resting face is datum feature A, the center locating hole is datum feature B and the other two holes, the pattern of two holes is datum feature C. Now we can control the pin hole with respect to these three datum uh, features. So this is the pin hole that has to be controlled with respect to a positional control of 0.1 that is the cylindrical tolerance zone of 0.1 at maximum material condition with respect to datum A, datum B at maximum material boundary and datum C at maximum material boundary. So here it is denoted as three features. So there are three features over here, one, two and three features of holes with a basic dimension of eight plus or minus 0.2. 
and here this symbol indicates that we are considering it as a continuous feature. So what this basically means is when we are inspecting this part, we'll inspect it as a whole. So all the three features, all the three separate features will be inspected as a continuous feature. So instead of having three separate pins, which will be inserted for inspection of these three features, we'll have a single pin, which will be inserted along all the three features. So that is the meaning of this CF, which means continuous feature. We are treating all the three features as continuous feature. So this is a positional control applied to the pinhole and there are two basic dimensions locating this pinhole with respect to a hole on the pattern. So 20 over here, which locates with respect to the datum B, that is this hole center and six over here, which locates with respect to datum A, that is the resting face. So this is the tolerancing scheme for the hinge bracket. As you can see, the datum scheme has been set and this pinhole has been controlled with respect to that datum scheme. Now let us understand the gauging, the functional gauging of this kind of a bracket, which will basically make it clear as to how this will be verified and inspected. 